That was the turning point brought to you by Ashley and Martin Medical Hair Centres. Let's head into Blues Camp now. New South Wales Chief Advisor Greg Alexander is standing by. Brandy, thanks for joining us. Seven changes Great. to the team. Was that with an eye on the future or was that just to try and avoid a series whitewash? Uh, Braith, I, I think primarily it's a, it's a side that, you know, what we think can win next Wednesday night. So, um, you know, they're, I, I guess you know, Bradman best um, in the side to make his debut. You could say, you know, there, there's a couple of spots there that might be an eye on the future, but primarily it's a side that we, you know, we want to win the game next Wednesday night. We want to avoid a, a, a whitewash uh, and, you know, we're desperate to win. So we think this side can do it. Brady, the biggest decision I would think was dropping Jerome Luai. Why did you go with a different option to him? Uh, we just haven't played the footy that we've wanted to play. And I, I, I don't think, you know, Jerome should, you know, burden all the responsibility. But, um, you know, Cody has been in discussions with us um, um, uh, this series and was very unlucky, you know, could have been part of game two, um, picked up a quad injury and, you know, he ended up passing his fitness test late in the week. But... Um, you know, we just thought it was time for, you know, for Cody, who's been brilliant for South Sydney for the last two and a half years. Um, and that's how long it has been since Cody's played Origin. But, yeah, we're just hoping that Cody can unlock the players on the outside. Hey, Brandy, um, Nico Hines, mate. Um, you used him 10 minutes in Adelaide as a centre. I, I get the impression he's been abandoned since. Um, I look at the Cronulla attack. It's better than South. It's better than Penrith. It's better than the Broncos, but you just won't pick him. What? What's the story? Sorry, Buzz. The the Cronulla attack. What? What? It, in well, terms I'm, I'm of saying numbers, the Cronulla is attack is had put on more mm -hmm. points than South Penrith and the Broncos. Their playmaker was Nico Hines. He got ten minutes in game one, and he's gone. Why? Yeah. Look, it, I, I guess rep footy's tough, Buzz. Um, and we've decided to go another way. I, I, I can't tell you any more than that, Buzz. You know, it's... Uh, rep footy's tough. Um, but not does everyone he get an explanation, the, the Brandy? I, I think it's really rough that... Um, that yeah, oh, well, he, sure he got you, 10 yeah, minutes out of rough, position in game one. And yeah. he was the Dally M winner well, so clearly. And he's yeah, just Buzz, been when, abandoned when, when you're there. Picked in a, OK. When, when you're picked in a rep side, Buzz, as a utility, you, you've got to be ready to play anywhere. Uh, that's, that's, that's fact. Sometimes you have to play out of position. Uh, unfortunately for Nico, it, it was that night. And um, look, he's been in great form, but we, we've decided to go another direction, Buzz. So it's, it, it's tough and sometimes it can be brutal. Um, do I feel for Nico? Yes. Uh, does he de deserve an explanation? Well, I'm, I'm sure he's spoken to Freddie about it. So... Sure. Um, I, I don't know what else you, you want, Buzz. You, you, you want it, did you want him in this side? Oh, look, I'm just doing my job and asking why. Oh, no, I was just wondering... Pick... Yeah, okay. oh, Look, look, look well, I, I could go on. He's not the only player, Brandy, who's had 10 minutes. You picked Stefano in Game 2 in Adelaide. He got 10 minutes and he's gone. I worry about what it does for the confidence of these players. I'm not being rude to you. I'm respectfully asking no, I'm you... No, but Buzz... Yeah, well, I'm, I'm sure it's tough on them, but um, in terms of Stefano, uh, Jake Trebojevic hasn't been available until this game. Uh, Regan Campbell-Gillard came back against the Bulldogs before Game 2, and we just thought with Reg having a two-month layoff with his groin injury that he probably wasn't ready, so Stefano got his chance. And unfortunately, you know, it didn't work out for Stefano. He didn't get much game time. And he's been overlooked for this one. I'm, I'm disappointed for Stefano. Of, yeah. of course I am. But he's a good young footballer and I'm sure he'll just get on with his career with the Tigers. Uh, we've Fair gone enough. with Jake and Regan Campbell-Gillard for this one. Brandy, can I ask you, I think that's the seventh time in the, in the Freddie era that you've made seven, seven or more changes from one game to the next. What, what does that say about the selection policy, the theory of sticking and picking, about giving guys an opportunity? What, what does that say about that? Well, I well, you stick and pick. Well, really, there's a whole lot of things that come into picking a side. Um, you know, it's form, uh, it's players that have been there before. Uh, even if players haven't been playing their best, do they deserve another chance? 
Um, there's a lot of things that come into the selection process. It's not just picking and sticking. We've lost two games. Uh, we needed to make change. Uh, we've done that in the past, so you need to make change. You can't stick with what you've got if you weren't happy with what, how things are going. And, and that's what we've done. We've changed a couple of key players. Uh, injuries have forced changes as well, uh, which we have battled with throughout the, the series. Uh, and that's the reason players weren't fit. Uh, players have been ruled out. Uh, that's why there's, there's changes. And uh, we got beaten and, and beaten well in Queensland. So I, I think that's the, primary, that's the primary reason for change. Brendy, Buzz asked you about Nico, and I feel for Nico. I think everyone does. But Matt Burton's another guy. If you listen to the reports before the game yesterday, Matt Burton's in the team left centre. Bradman best scores three tries. Hadn't been discussed by anyone at all leading into the series. Suddenly Matt Burton's out. You know, you've got pe people at Penrith saying, why isn't Isaac Tango in there? Parramatta, why isn't Will Penasini in there? Can you understand that viewpoint that, you know, Matt's had a bad day, Canterbury's had a bad day, and you've just dispensed... You've gone another path based on basically one game. But that's what it feels like. Now, it, that might be accurate, but that's no, how it you, feels. You, 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 you are... You talk, that, that is rude to Bradman Best, Brent. That is, that, that is being rude to Bradman Best. Now... Do you think Bradman Best, who was a star as an 18-year-old coming through the pathways, do you think what he's wanted to do all his footballing life was play Origin? And, and now you're talking about him, him representing New South Wales on the back of one game? No, I'm that, saying... That, that's, no, that's being I'm disrespectful that, that, to Bradman no, Best. That, that's not what I'm it saying. It is being, being disrespectful to, Bradman, to Bradman Best. No, I'm not, I'm not being rude to him at all. He's a good player. But I'm saying, leading into that game yesterday, every, every story you read... Everything you heard, heard was Matt Burton was going to be picked at centre. And Bradman, I don't think Bradman's name had ever been, been mentioned. But suddenly after that game Brad, Bradman's yesterday, name's been, Bradman's, he's, he's Bradman name, Matt Burton. Bradman's name has been spoken about for, for quite some time. Isaac Tago was, was discussed. Uh, Will Penasini wasn't. Uh, Isaac Tago's been in great form uh, playing left centre for Penrith. And, and, and he was an option. Uh, Matt Burton was an option. But we've gone with Bradman best. Don't disrespect him by saying it was on the back of one game. Hey, Brandy, it's Gordy, mate. Uh, obviously, with the series over, for one, how do you motivate the boys and how do you beat Queensland? Uh, Gordy, there's a, there's, a, there's a number of things that we need to fix up uh, with how we've been playing. So, you know, that's, that's number one. Um, but how do you motivate the boys? It's, you know... It, Every origin game is its own event. Like, it doesn't matter whether it's a, a, a dead rubber, uh, you're playing to win the series, whether it's a, you know, it's one all and, you, you, and it's a decider, uh, it's whether it's the first game. Every origin game is its own event and its own special game. So uh, there's no thought about what, what it means in terms of whether it's a dead rubber or not. It, it's, we, we need to win this game and... You know, I'm, I'm sure we can play a lot better than we have over the last couple of uh, matches and, and, you know, do New South Wales proud. Good on you, Brandy. Thanks for joining us again. We really appreciate you coming on the show and good luck for the rest of the week. Thank you, Braith.